Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're working on the six liter again. So, I'm sure as y'all guys have already seen, we got the truck leveled, installed the light bar, and then we've had the headlights done. But there's one thing on this truck that sticks out like a sore thumb, and I'm sure you can see it. It is the fog lights. So, they're pretty hazy and the incandescent bulbs in there they're just not going to cut it so i've ordered some leds off of amazon again so i'm gonna go pick those up um i gotta go pick those up from the post office because a little woman ran this morning and i didn't sign for them so i was asleep so i gotta go grab those but we also have here some Adams detailing products. So I'm gonna try to clay mitt the um, fog lights. I'll show y'all what they look like turned off. But they are pretty bad. So I wanna try to clean them up. Uh, I don't wanna buy new ones because I wanna get an aftermarket front bumper. So if I buy new ones, that's just kind of a waste. And then after we go over them with the clay mint, we're gonna go over them with some uh, spray wax and try to keep them protected. So I'm gonna run up here, I'm gonna grab those fog lights and uh, we're gonna come back, get those installed and see if we can get them all cleaned up and looking good. So let's get after it. All right guys, so we just made it back. I pulled down here to shop. Um, Way. not working in the mud but here we have our new fog lights let me dump these out and see um, but i think these are like 28 bucks or something like that they should be super bright they have the little projector dome at the end you can see there's a part number these are jdma stars or whatever you want to call them but they should be plenty bright so i'm gonna unlock the shop nose the truck up in there and we're gonna get started cleaning and then we'll throw those in there all right guys so i got the truck kind of nosed up in here but it is absolutely horrible driveway is a mess shop floor is a mess it's still wet from monday when we installed the leveling kit or even Saturday for when we did the light bar. And this is Wednesday. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get started. So I have everything in the truck. But I'm going to get started on trying to clean these up first. And see what we can do with them. Okay, guys. So here we are. Got our detailing stuff here. Um, as you can see how rough these are. But also, if you guys missed a video on this light bar, um, check it out. So that turned out pretty good. But what we're going to do, I'm going to take our detail spray here. We're just going to kind of mess that on there, mess that on there. And then take our microfiber, which I have sitting on my leg over here. We're going to clean them up. It's gonna help them a little bit, but not a lot. Now these are kind of loose, but we'll fix that up as well while we are here. But clean these up, and then if you've never used a clay bar or a clay mitt, what you want to do is take it, take it out of the little package here, and then I'm gonna be using this side with the with the I guess it's more abrasive clay. I think it's kind of on both sides. But there's a little more abrasive. So pop it out of here and then spray some detail spray on the fog lights themselves and then on the actual clay bar or clay mint. I have a clay mint um, that I bought when I did the white truck. Cleaned it up real nice. You can see it's duck so that is just the properties of it 
So I'm gonna pop this out of here. Hard to do one-handed. And like I said, spray the fog light down with detail spray. Spray the clay mint down with some detail spray. And then we'll see what we can do. So there we go. But anyways, I'm gonna save all that process because um, it can be kind of tedious and kind of a long process, but what? But we will get them kind of cleaned up. I'm hoping this will help. If not, we'll wet sand them and we'll do all that stuff. But I'm gonna try this because I got a little bit of time before we have to go do some stuff. All right, so I can't really tell that it done anything. They feel smoother, but this one helped a little bit. This one, not so much. But I'm still gonna hit them with some uh, spray wax here, just to kind of maybe try to help a little bit. So, and then we'll throw these new ones in. I'll spray those down like so. Take our microfiber and we'll just kind of wipe that in. And then, as far as throwing the new ones in. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm just gonna set that there. I'll set this over here somewhere. We don't want that to touch the ground. Um, but pretty simple. All you gotta do, come over here, reach behind. You got plenty of room back here. Twist it, pull the bulb out. Don't touch the bulb if they're good. Um, and then raise up on those tabs right there and it'll unplug off of there, and then you just plug the new ones in, and we'll test them, and I'll show you all the difference as well. Okay, so just like that, you got the new LED in there, if you can see that, and old halogen. So I'm gonna turn the park lights on with the fog lights, and we'll take a different uh, a look at the difference of them. Just so you guys can get kind of an idea, then I'll, I'll swap this one out, but we'll get a quick little comparison here. All right. So I need to clean those headlights up too a little bit because of all the rain, but we got to uh, turn the key on. So it's a good thing to remember, but let's see. Pretty simple. I like, now I've said this before, I've told people this, but this is the kind of stuff that I miss doing on the white truck. This stuff is so easy. And it's so simple. Okay, there we go. But there is our difference. So, as you can see, the LED, much brighter. Um, so, that we'll throw the other one in. And then, here in a little bit, when it gets dark, it's already like two o'clock. But, here in a little bit, when it gets dark, I'll uh, give you guys a, I guess a look at night. It's not supposed to rain tonight, so hopefully it doesn't. And I can show you guys what they do look like, but I'm gonna throw the other one in and uh, I'll show you all that and then we'll get some night shots of them. Okay, guys, so one thing, one more thing. I got both of them installed, but one thing I do is I'll put the original bulbs when I pull them out and I'll put them, I got the headlights over there, but I'll put them somewhere in the cabin. Um, cause like I said before, we drive a lot and then a lot of times we'll drive at night so makes it nice to have everything with you in case something were to happen have a bulb go out or whatever but we'll take a look i turn the light bar on um so we can get a look at the whole situation but there we go so much brighter and i will give you all a rundown here so the lighting setup on this truck we have r2 led headlights um for replacement hollow beam 
have Harley Davidson style um, housings. We have switchback turn signals. So, I'll hit the turn signal here. And then also turned on high beams. But so you can see switchbacks. I do have the flasher relay. So, no hyper flash. Yeah, turn the windshield wipers on. But no hyper flash, none of that business. Then we have the um, the fog lights. I'll link these down below as well. But all this stuff come off Amazon, except for the headlight housings. I got those off eBay. So 32 inch nylight light bar. We just installed it um, last weekend for me. It'll be a little while for you guys, but we got that installed. So now this thing is full LED, so much better. And then I have plans, swapping out the mirrors, and then I have some stuff I want to try in here. Um, I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to try it. But my dome light up front broke the little prongs broke so now we have no um no dome light but anyway there we go so full led like i said um on the front i do plan to do something different with the mirrors i plan to do something different with the tail lights i have um led reverse lights but i want to do some leds or a full replacement you can see this dull halogens so we'll get those swapped out sometime or another we'll get third brake light swapped out i want to do one of the tailgate strips uh, my license plate lights don't work so we'll get those swapped out and then we got some other lighting ideas in mind but y'all gonna have to stay tuned for those i don't know if they'll work like I've said before, but we'll just have to see. So I'm gonna pull this thing out here, give y'all a look out here in the daylight. And then, like I said, I'll give y'all a look at night as well. All right guys, so y'all can see there, um, I got the light bar on. I'll turn it off here in a second, but I'm gonna shut down the shop, turn all the lights off and whatnot, and then we'll get back to that. And then our poor driveway, looking rough. But all this rain is no bueno, but hopefully we'll get started back on the white truck again. Um, I had some 2414s I was going to buy. The guy sold them. Um, kind of out from under me, but it is what it is. So moving on from that. I gotta find another setup, but we'll get it figured out. And then I'm looking at buying some uh, mile stars. Put on this thing. Right. Let me turn off the light bar here and uh, show you all what it looks like without. So I wired the light bar to the factory toggle switches. So if y'all miss that video, go check it out super easy and you get the oem look there we are so again i'll see you guys in a couple hours when it gets dark and we'll take a look at the uh light output and whatnot on these and see how they look all right guys so i completely forgot about finishing this video so it's like midnight, but let's uh let's take a look. So I was actually talking to a guy about buying the wheels from the light truck. But let's uh now the Chrysler is right in front of the truck. And I'm just gonna turn the park lights on. That's them. And then the key has to be on for the fog lights. Turn it on, and then 
fog lights. So I'm going to start truck. The neighbors are gonna be real proud of this, by the way. But I'm gonna pull it off over here, shut the truck off, and then we'll look at the output and that kind of thing. Okay, guys. So I'll pull off over here by the house. The neighbors are already watching me over here. You can see that light, but this is without fog lights. And then this is just the running lights. And then that is with the fog lights. So you can see pretty good distance. Um, again, without fog lights, with fog lights. And then with the headlights and then fog lights, fog lights off, fog lights on. And then 30 inch light bar. So it's pretty insanely bright, but let's try to be quiet. Don't mind the clock, it's actually wrong. We uh, disconnected the batteries the other day. But you can see, pretty, pretty bright setup. So there you go. That is, that's what we're looking like. Now uh, the fog lights actually aren't blinding. And then I'll uh, show you all the light bar real quick. And I'll also clean off my screen real quick too. All right, so here we are um, with the light bar on. I cleaned my lens, but just so y'all get a little better idea without as much glare. Still a lot of glare, but this thing is insanely bright. So, pretty nice setup. Um, again, that tree right there is at least 100 yards. So, we're, we're doing pretty good. Now again, uh, I gotta find out dumb light broke. But here's a view from up here. But anyways, here's a view from up here on the roof. You don't get an idea. But I'm gonna get in here, turn these off. <laughs> Make the neighbors happy. So I'm gonna turn them off and then click on and then the fog lights. So the delay there, that's fog lights and then switch back and the headlights. So fog lights, pretty bright. Pretty impressed for a, again like a, I think they were like 30 bucks off Amazon, but Anyway, I'm gonna end the video out here. Pull the truck back, back over here as quietly as I can. And uh, anyways, guys, that'll be all for this video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And like I said, try not to back into these trees. But like I said before, uh, I got some other stuff planned as far as lighting. But here's the front of the house. So pretty good lighting setup and then the light bar. But there you go. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody has a next day. Uh, uh, hope everybody has a good day. I'll catch y'all on the next one.